Hey guys, welcome back to another episode and the last probably of uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're going to be covering Breach and uh, I guess we'll check out the intro sequence. What the fuck? Apparently I can share things with my friends. I don't have friends though. I'm going to rip you one. Investors around the world today rejoiced at a decision by the Czech Republic to approve expansion plans for the Palisade Bank Corporation. Located in Prague, the bank's iconic blade facilities hold the largest and most secure data archiving vaults in the world. Cutting-edge security measures have protected the sensitive secrets of mega corporations and influential individuals since privacy laws first passed. Sources close to the bank tell me that no hacker has ever come close to breaching the Blade's defenses, despite an almost astronomical number of attempts. Between you and me, folks, I think they are just wasting their time. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. Shadow Child, that's so edgy. <laughs> Oh fuck, that's a thing from Star Trek that like makes you like addicted to it or something and takes over your brain if you've ever seen that. Alright. Let's enter the breach. Uh shares gameplay systems and controls from J6 Mankind Divided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. We've done the tutorial. <sighs> what the fuck's this? We saw this already. We know what a ripper is. It's someone who farts really loudly. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit. Uh, to get to the point, motherfucker. Dude, dude, Shadow Child is my Steam friend. New uh, not just any new data, countless terabytes of protected corporate data in the world. Uh, no, no, no way of knowing how long the breach will stay open. That's why you, you became a ripper, and I can help you get better at it. All right. Uh, do I care about the money or the challenge? I care about the money. Fuck the change, the money's the good. Makes sense, extracting data selling it to the highest bidder can be a way to get rich. If you have the recognitions, the data can be used to make a difference. Oh god, I hate Shadow Child, he's such an edgelord. For years, the poor corporations who control the world, blah blah blah, would be exposed. Uh, but since Paradise built, since they built massive server farms, uh, any incriminating evidence has been uh, protected until now. To be honest, your reason for being a ripper is not as important as what can be done with the data you can extract. I, I want to work with you to ensure you get as much as possible. Well, you can. All right. Uh, let's see. What do I, what do I get out? What do I get out of teaming up with you? Yeah, I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm guessing this is like all the same thing. You can just be a bitch to this guy. You're in it for the money, right? Yeah. I'll compensate you for every terabyte you extract with credits that you could use to improve your skills. You need to be more efficient at dealing with para whatever to advance defenses. We can go on this for hours, but time is spent raiding the blade servers. I'll post something on my message board that should answer all your questions. Oh good. I have a virus on my computer now. So Mike, that will you work with me? Let's see how it goes, fine. I promise you, you won't regret it. I'll guide you through the Blade's lava wall servers myself. The defensive barrier stands between you and the Paladice's uh, client servers. It'll, then it'll be up to you. Extract the data, expose the truth. What a, f what a faggot. Alright, Ripper. Let's get started. Check my message board for a link to the Palisade's lava wall servers. Uh, my name is, is Mike Latt, and now I'm actually going to change it. Alright. Does it actually change my name, or does it just keep it the way? All right, let's go open this person's thing. Uh, photo of... Okay, open entries by clicking on them with a the mouse. Okay, so... I guess this is just like telling us... What is this thing? 
Okay, that's all the rippers. Start a conversation. Information on the breach. Photo of the fucking Par Paladice blades. And then now we enter. We begin the tutor tutorial of lava wall servers. To extract data, you need to find data towers. Access the one ahead of you to begin. Well, we've already played this game. Uh, press control to crouch. The server blocks ahead are vulnerable to remote hacking. Use it on them to clear the path. Some towers hold more data than others. You must reach the data objective for the breach point to reopen. Holy shit, what the fuck do I look like? You almost have enough data, Reaper. One or two more towers should do it. So it's like a, your scoring system. Seems simple enough. Well done, Reaper. As promised, the data you extracted has been converted into credits and experience. Show details. Okay, I'm so amazing. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it's gonna take me forever to get to level two. This is Palisade's lava wall. The barrier protecting the corporate data we're after. I've hacked a booster pack into the next node. Open it now. A booster pack. So complete a server map to unlock any nodes connected to it. Some nodes may re re uh, require a firewall key. Press the middle mouse button to navigate quickly navigate around the map and reach exit points to make and use of the server map. Oh, I see. This is kind of interesting then. I don't know. How do I... Like, middle mouse doesn't do shit, actually, so... Whatever. Okay, we got a new server node now. Set up pack 1.0. Oh god, why, why do I- I have a really bad feeling about this. Hold enter to real- Why do I have to hold enter? This is such a stupid fucking console mechanic. Alright, grades, weapons, exclusives. Some items like practice kits are only available at the higher rarities. Higher grades mean better stats, more room to upgrade and new weapon visuals. Some items can be rated from C common to S extremely rare. rare. Booster packs to have rare items. Alright. I, I hate pressing enter, by the way, so much right now. Booster packs contain a variety of items that can help you survive. Access the next server and you'll see how to equip them. Okay. Equip your avatar with a weapon and ammo before entering the server. Switch to the loadout tab to transfer items from your reserve. You know, to be honest, I this is pretty, pretty simple stuff. All right, you can hold it. Uh, holds infinite items, but you can't access them during gameplay. Booster pack is stored here. All right. Pistols. Okay. Let's take the pistol with us. Get some of the ammunition. AP ammo. Sure. Fuck. I might as well take it all. I'm guessing if you loot, if you die in there, then you die in real life or something. I don't know. All right, Ripper. Enter the lava wall server when you're ready. Well, I want to make this number one, and like this, like four, I guess. I the fucking knew it. You can buy additional booster packs to refill your reserve with weapons, ammo, and special items. Booster pack contains five random five set, uh, five items. Chip sets are needed to buy premium items. I, I, I'm certainly hoping this is all in-game stuff. Oh, it is in-game stuff. Thank fuck. I was worried for a second there. Oh, dude, I want you to my avatar. Visit shop. Okay. How do I change my appearance? Because they look like a giant douchebag. Both in this game and in real life. Okay. Well. Fine. I guess we'll just go. Start level. Heads up. This server is guarded by AI defenses. Expect a fight if you're spotted. So can I take down people? What are my uh what are my augments? I don't have any augments. Okay. To to change control schemes. 
Because that's what I was wondering at this very moment. I'm literally playing Portal right now. Careful, there's a guard here. Downloading data attracts attention. Stick to cover or open fire, but if you're detected, reinforcements will spawn. Okay, so I can't kill people, it's just press Q. Takedowns are a fast way to defeat enemies and keep things quiet. Just keep an eye on the energy usage. Right, so my energy, well, it does come back, but it's like... Some data towers can be tricky to access, but sometimes the way to them is easier than it seems. Fuck. I'll be honest, I wasn't fully expecting that. I just have basic pistol. I love basic pistol. Easily accessible ventilation shaft. God, I, I just killed Minecraft. Notch is gonna be fucking pissed. Alright. We did st I don't even care about my score. Okay, good, I'm level 2 now. Ripper, level up. Your memory and supply praxis points. All right. Bravo. You're halfway through the level of servers. Another booster pack is waiting to be opened. Oh boy, booster packs, guys! I fucking can't wait. Oh, that's what this is. It's a reward node. I gotta hold enter a whole bunch now. Setup pack is zero point two uh, two point zero. Some booster packs contain praxis kits. The points they provide are needed to unlock augmentations for your avatar. Well, there we go. Oh, middle mouse uh, zooms out. That's kind of nice, actually. Alright, so how do I spend the fucking praxis points? That's the question. Uh, what's, what's, what are the options I get? Nothing. Alright. Oh, I still have the gun. I get more pistol ammo though. Might as well just take it all with me. I don't see why not. All right, here we go. All right. All right, Ripper. Time to augment your avatar and make things more interesting. All right, let's have a look at this. Augmentations provide your avatar with unique abilities that no item can match. Unlock the multi jump up now. You're going to need it to complete the next level while server. The multi jump. Oh shit, that, that seems awesome. So we have uh, Icarus Landing and Landing Strike. Allows it to jump midair. Allows it to jump twice in midair. Alright, well, let's, let's go purchase his augmentation. Uh, augmentations can only be used if you have memories to equip them. And then they have the wheel. And then you can. Augmentation can be freely unequipped to clear up memory space only prior to starting up the server map. Alright. Do I have another? I have another Praxis point. What do I want to spend that on? Uh, let's see what they have for energy. Default energy regeneration to 2 energy per second. Delay of three, 3 seconds. Energy... Center energy amount will regenerate up to 30 below that amount. Ah, uh, this one... This one increases my energy total. That's pretty nice. And this is the booster. Increases maximum energy capacity. Here's the thing where I can uh, kill everything. Accurately predict incoming damage or reduce the total amount of energy required to sustain the uh, effect. What's this one? You can also uh, ignore all EMP effects. Okay. Isn't that something you can do over here? Uh, here's the passive damage. 
uh, thing, so you can prevent shutdown due to P EMP, just passively. Okay. Uh, renderer. So, last known position. Alarm cancel. Disrupting analysis layers of AI. Oh, you have to activate it so you can disable the alarms. Uh, this is a concussion grid. So, a lot of this is reused, obviously. This is smart vision. Uh, this one is the tracker. Only requires one, luckily, now, because it was useless in the other one. This is invisibility. That requires a lot of fucking ug thing, though. Uh, this is a leap to extraordinary height. Okay. What's this one? HP booster. You can boost your HP. Regenerate your HP a bit more. It reduces energy HP delay to five seconds and then improves uh, the regeneration. I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm skimming through all this stuff, guys, so sorry. Uh, you can do two takedowns on two targets. Uh, destroy walls. This is your inventory system. I didn't even use the Typhoon in the last thing, didn't I? Yeah, I, I killed everyone by the time I unlocked it. Here's the Tesla. Okay. And here's your Peps gun. And then you have your Nano Blade. Okay, so they kept all the, that stuff in there. Oh, here you got remote hacking. You can disable cameras. I guess this is a pretty important component. The turret. Cosmo overload and then friendly fire. Okay. What's this one do? Remote hack. Okay, 12 meters. Bypass laser wires. All right. What's this timer thing? Uh, this is the slow down one. And this is... You can download things from Terra. All right. I have absolutely no idea what I want to get. So probably I'll just do damage resistance. Because as we, as we learn from this game, everything is boring unless you're fucking... Oh, wait. wait. Allows you to hold to precisely aim at to dash to reach ledges. All right. That's pretty cool. Now maybe that's not so useless anymore, but we'll, we'll figure it out later, I guess. Oh, well, maybe not. The hell? Like, how's this guy using it? Oh, yeah, one second. I think I went to the wrong one. Okay, he just went to the side. Like, why even do that? What the fuck? He's like, like okay, that's the word. Okay, I'm not fucking doing that, but th this one, this one seemed kind of cool. Like, I could just jump to the ledges. That's why I, I kind of want it just for that, but I don't know. Armor seems pretty nice. Cloak.og. The mark tracker is useless. All right. All right. We're just going to go for... We're going to go for the armor one. Apparently memory required 300 gigabytes, though. Holy shit, you need a lot of fucking gigabytes for that. Fuck it. We're going to go for this one, then. Okay. We're, we're doing the jumping og. The Mexican jumping ogs. All right, let's do it. Try out your avatar's new ability. Use multi-jump to reach the tower. Right? Use multi-jump? What the fuck? I literally only have that. You can reach even higher platforms by multi-jumping off server blocks. Get to the platform high above you. All right. Avoid the turret ahead, or switch to EMP ammo to temporarily disable it. Switch to EMP ammo. All right, let's have a look at that. Actually, fuck it. Why do I even care? This is the worst animation they've ever seen. I know it's on purpose, but seriously. Actually, I have fucking, I have fucking the other augs. One sec. Err. Icarus landing, go. That's it, Reaper. Now return to the exit and get out of there. There's another one right there. I want, I want to get this one.
Okay. I, I, I would have listened to what she said, but like I was running to the end, so it was a good time for dialogue. Let me tell you, tell you that right now. Alright, that I literally got no experience with that. One more level of server to go. The data from the Palisades network is within reach. Oh, rewards. Oh boy, what did we get here? Set up pack three. Time to hold enter a whole bunch and get fucking annoyed. Booster packs can also contain a variety of modifiers, which can provide temporary advantages when raiding a server. Oh, pay to win stuff, okay. It's all pay to win, let's be honest. Requirements completion rate 100%. Okay. Some servers will change the rules on you. In this one, the AI core activates the lockdown as soon as you enter. So let's change the rules too, shall we? So where does it say? Where, but wait, 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 where does it tell me that I can fucking, it does it right away? Well, whatever, okay. Apply modifiers by clicking them with the mouse. Oh goody. Okay. Cheat modifiers alter the server rules, allowing you to do things you could never do otherwise. Just remember, each can only be used once. This feels extremely consupporty. Click the button to open the reserve. Cheats. Oh cool, I can cheat. Apply at least one cheat multiplier. HP up. Dude, we're gonna do more damage. Cheat modifiers give you uh, special bonuses that bypass the normal limits of your avatar. Patch modifiers give you a score multiplier if you obey the condition. Okay. Tougher uh, conditions have better multipliers. Uh, that's this is actually kind of cool. Uh, fails to fails upon use of using uh, healing items. Okay. A modifier only lasts as long as you remain within the level it is used in. Okay. What else can I add? I can add more cheats if I want to. Well, I don't really want to. All right. So this is this is me cheating, guys. Guys, don't report me to Steam. The AI core already knows you're here. Use what you've learned to quickly reach the objective and escape before the lockdown completes. Bona Fortuna Reaper. But I'm cheating. Wait, this is exactly the same thing. Oh, that's a turret. There's that one on that side? It's like I need to put in. How do I get over there? That sucks ass. There's supposed to be a door there. Okay, let's just fucking go past this. What the fuck? There's a thing over there. I could swear there was a... A data core down below me. Okay, you have enough data. Time is running out. Get out of there quick, or you will lose it all. You don't tell me what to do, bitch. All right, how do we get out? Okay, there's another one right there. You're fucking real, son. Punch his asshole. Mike Glad only 100% completes everything. Okay, we've done that all. We have to exit down at the beginning, so let's get down there. We press F to take cover, guys. I'm I'm on a timer and it's telling me to press F. We did it all. We're amazing. We're video gamers, guys. Well done. The more you improve your skills, the more you'll be able to push yourself and complete bonus objectives. All right. So side objectives Com completed by finishing the server match with a score equal to or better than the value shown. Its use of patch modifiers is essential. Speed run achieved. Use of cheat modifiers is 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 recommended. Completed by downloading all the data from the data towers in the server map and uh, 
Direct side objectives and please your complete completion rate and locking warp nodes to new servers. Okay. Oh good. I, I was fucking five experience away from leveling. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Bravissimo. You've made it through the Palisade lava wall. Now the real work begins. New reward unlocked. Okay, we got a Praxis me uh, menu. Wait, what the fuck? So to access it only through something else? Uh, I don't know where to access it from. Wait, why, why is my completion rate not 100%? What did I miss? What the fuck? Uh, why do I have all these people here? Uh, I guess they're my friends. Requirements completion rate rate 100%. So what is not completed rate? Try and figure it out. Okay, I have no idea how that works. So whatever, let's leave. Zoom in. I must have missed something right, somewhere. Trigger. This is what we're here for. The Palisades corporate servers. The data within them contains what we need to expose the truth. Other Reapers are attacking the network. Each one's competing to be the best. Good for them. All right. Uh, you know, we're going to cut off here. I'll do I'll do like another episode of this. It's sort of interesting so far. So we can see other people are doing it right now that I don't really care about, so Especially my friends here, apparently. Are these all my friends? I don't know. All right. Well, let's. Uh, uh, yeah. So next time we'll we'll do this. So take care, everyone. Bye.